All right, so today I'm gonna show you guys how to install the x long long-arm camera kit on your long arm. So when you open the box, what you're gonna find is the camera itself, of course. You're gonna also find this little bag with cable clips. It's also got one little screw down in there. Um, that is only for the Moxie. I'll tell you more about that later. And your USB cord. That's all we need. I already got mine laying out, so I'm gonna just put this over here for right now. It'll be fine. First things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab ourselves a set of Allens. Um, all you really need is the number four Allen, this guy. And we are gonna take off the roller base mount, which is this right here. Um, I'm taking off the front one, that's because it's closest to the needle, so it's gonna get the fullest range of your quilt. This little guy can go, we don't need it anymore. You might wanna keep it around, just in case you ever take the camera system off. I don't know why you would, but you might wanna keep it around. I'm keeping the screw on here. If you want, you can use the screw included with the kit, but I already have this one out. I may as well use this one. It's gonna go right through your camera like that, and then we're just screwing it onto the machine exactly where the other mount came off. Just like that. Now that that's done, next thing we're gonna go on to is installing the USB cord, which I've got lying back here. I get it unwrapped first of all, that way it lays a little nicer. I'm just gonna kind of get it unwrapped. And I like to kind of go ahead and plug it in my camera and then see how it lines up on the machine so I know about how I want to run it. I generally hook it, if you've got an Amara or a Forte, you can do this on a Moxie, not so much. Um, but you can kind of get it here and it'll almost hold itself on the encoder. Um, I'm gonna grab my clips. I got one right here. Generally the first place I stick it is gonna be about right here, somewhere on the machine. Um, you wanna be running it on the side of the machine. If you run it directly over the wheel, it gets a little hard to put in. Um, so that's the reason I didn't do that. I put one right there, I'll come back to the back, and I'm gonna put one right about on the back here, probably about right there. Don't cover up your screw holes because I have to take your machines apart and I don't like having to take these guys off. Next one, just probably gonna put it right here at the corner so we make a good corner here. Right like that. There should be six of them in your kit, so that's what I got, that's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna put another one up here uh, probably just before it starts the corner is where I'm gonna put it. Make sure that it's not rubbing the hand wheel. If you're rubbing the hand wheel, you may have problems with burning through your cord over a long time, and that's something we really don't want. On this one, I'm gonna go uh, probably about right here will be good. And the last one, it depends on how it works out. If you got a Moxie, you may only need five of them. Um, I have six, I'm using six. It kind of depends on how you want to route it, but this is the approximate place where you're gonna go with it. Now this cable's a little extra long because if you have the Forte, you're gonna use up another, what is it, two, four inches of it, something. Um, so I generally just take, if you got it in Amara, like I say, um, the Moxie may be a little different, or it is a little different. Um, the Forte should be the same, and I'll just shove it right in through here just to kind of keep it organized, and I'll plug it into one of my USB ports. It can either be the top or the bottom. Should not matter. Um, I went with the top, but you can go with the bottom. It really does not matter. And that is literally it. Now that you've got your camera installed, I'm gonna show you how to get the camera app on the taskbar. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just touch right here in the bottom, see if I can get the taskbar up. There we go. And I'm gonna touch right here on the Windows icon It'll bring this up, and you see the three icons. We're gonna hit the one on the bottom, right like that. And it brings it up everything. Now right here's my camera, because it's in alphabetical order. I'm gonna just touch and hold on the camera, and it'll bring up two options, pin to start and more. We're gonna touch more, and right here, the top option on that is gonna be pin to taskbar. So we're gonna touch this, and now you can see our camera icon right down here. 
is pinned to the taskbar. So we're gonna touch the camera icon to bring it up, make sure it works. There we go. So for most of you, this is the first camera you're gonna see. This is actually the camera on the back of the tablet. Um, not the one we want, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch this icon right up here and it should switch it to the camera we just installed. It's gonna be blurry right now, but that's because we have it focused for the quilt. So for focusing it, we're gonna pull out our wallet because it's something everybody has and get a credit card. Print on the back of these credit cards. It's really fine. So we're gonna focus it for that. If we can read the print, we pretty much have it set up for a quilt. So I'm just gonna lay my credit card right down here like that. You can see it's pretty bad out of focus. I will try to get yours better when they ship to you, but I put this out of focus for the video. And I'm gonna just turn this little camera down here. And we see it's starting to come in focus. We're getting better. And right about there is perfect. So we got it in focus pretty well right now. Right about there is what you want. And when you can read the words like that, you'll be able to see if your tension's on or off. So as you might see, I've got my roller base on. That's because the camera also works with the roller base. But the real thing I wanted to show you was how it looks like with the stitches. Um, so one thing you're gonna notice occasionally is when you're working with a really light fabric or thin batting, it's gonna look a little overexposed and almost too wet. You can't exactly see what's going on with your stitches. In this case, you can just put your hand down right here, right beside it, and when you move the machine around, um, you just keep your hand there and you'll be able to see your stitches a lot better like that. This piece of fabric's not real bad, um, but if you were to have like white on white fabric, something like that with really thin batting, it may really show up. So the other option, I guess, is you can dim the lights on your machine. That does work too, um, but this is just about as simple. So I hope you all enjoy your cameras.